Kudo. Today, I talk about the development of a commerce architecture. Uh, commerce stands for a uh, cognitive monogatari system, where monogatari means a narrative or a story. The broad objective of this study is to design a human analogous intelligence, regardless of whether or not it provides uh, scientific knowledge of the human mind. Uh, development of commerce is a continuous long-term project, and it is currently at an early stage. This talk consists of five parts. Uh, first, I talk about the basic concept of the story-centered approach. Uh, a common aim among cognitive architectures is to seek systematic frameworks and computational principles for building comprehensive intelligent systems or agents. And this goal overlaps with the original aim of AI and story cognition has been considered one of the essential aspects of human intelligence. In particular, Roger Shank proposed knowledge and memory models focusing on story cognition. And Patrick Winston also emphasized the importance of story cognition based on a strong story hypothesis. He says that our inner language enables us to tell, understand, and recombine stories and those ability to distinguish our intelligence from that of other primates. Uh, basic hypotheses of the story-centered approach are summarized here. A uh, story is considered as an internal world representation in which events and things are organized from the perspective of the individual. In this context, uh, stories include past, present, future, and fictional events, regardless of whether they are based on experience, communicated knowledge, or imagination. From this perspective, I aim for constructing the foundation of a cognitive system as the internal movement of stories. Uh, the internal movement of stories is placed at the mid-level cognition between the higher level symbolic or manipulative process and the lower level neural or bodily process. There are several reasons to place it at the mid-level. First, a story must be integrative information in which the bodily and conceptual dimensions are mixed. Second, generative process of story involves a high complexity and implicitness in nature. Uh, in dealing with this complex process, I adopt a connectionist approach. However, our approach has several different aspects from recent major connection approaches. Uh, this study focuses on not the neural level, but the information level. Its principal operations are associative, relational, and combinational processes. Uh, this talk will provide mainly two contributions. First, generic concepts for constructing commons are systematized. Second, the architecture of commons based on an implementation is presented. Uh, because the present implementation remains at an early stage, it is mostly unsophisticated out of the element level, and empirical evidence is also still lacking. Uh, next, I systematize generic or inclusive concepts of commas. These concepts are defined from three perspectives that are story structure, internal structure of commas, and internal movement of commas. Uh, the concepts of story structure have developed in my previous work named Cognitive Space, which is a representational framework for story based on analogy from narrative comics. Comic can be seen as a comprehensive science system for expressing stories involving conceptual and modern information. Analogically, Cognitive Space intends to provide a mid-level representation in which conceptual and sensory motor 
dimensions of the world are mixed. Basic structure of a story based on the cognitive space is simply defined as follows. A story is a temporal organization of panels. A panel corresponds to a temporal segment of a world containing objects and motions. An object represents a perceptual or conceptual element. A motion represents a physical, mental, or social action. Furthermore, an organic structure among objects and motions is formed through their mutual relationships. Based on cognitive space, the relationship between an external world and the, an internal world can be explained as an isomorphic relationship in temporal, spatial, and conceptual structures. In con cognitive space, the conscious and subconscious levels of a story form representation and its generative process are distinguished from the perspective of designing a cognitive system. The term story particularly refers to the subconscious level, and the conscious level is referred to as an inner discourse. Uh, this is combined to integrate different aspects of con cognition. In particular, subconscious level involves par parallel distributed, implicit, complex, relatively fragmental and unfocused and continuous natures, uh, whereas as conscious level involves manipulative, explicit, integrated, focused, and temporary natures. In I, and, uh, I add another distinction for story structure that is concrete and generalized dimensions of a world Basically, a story represents concrete and unique events and objects. However, events and objects also have a repetitive nature or sameness among different stories. Such general structure are generally conceptualized as concepts or schemas. The process of constructing general structure is assumed to be a generalization of stories through their uh, semi-isomorphic relationship. Um, next, the essence of commerce is the internal movement of stories. Thus, the internal structure refers to the informational structure of story home representations. For this, a network structure is adapted to all the system. A node corresponds to a memory actor, one M actor. This is an informational unit corresponding to a story, object, motion, concept, or schema. Furthermore, each m actor automatically operates from uh, their, its local perspective. And a direct link or a connector has an internal structure to form rich relational information. In particular, a connector has a bundle of relational fibers similar to a feature vector. A connector is dynamically weighted with a lens of story association or lensa. It is similar to a weight vector to emphasize some relational features. Finally, the internal movement of the network of M actor is conceptualized by three processes. The first is spreading activation that creates a temporary organization of relevant M actors around a forecast path as the state of their activation levels. The second type is connection formation. The formation of connectors or direct relational connection is the most primitive process. In addition, uh, two types of higher structure connection similar to analogical mapping are defined. A similarity connection indirectly connects an M actor to another M actor through a mapping between their neighbors. A systematic connection forms two or more maps between, their, between the partial structures of stories. The third type is combination. This process composes a new structure from two existing structures based on the high guard connections. It is particularly modeled based on conceptual branding theory 
at the home of similarity or memory based creative cognition. Uh, next, generic concepts are synthesized at the computational level. I explain an overall structure of Comos architecture. Comos consists of three major parts that are memory system in a narrating module and action perception and language systems, or APL for short. The process denoted by dashed lines are uh, not um, unimplemented yet. The core of Comos is a memory system in which multidimensional movements of stories occur. The memory system consists of three layers. The memory organization forms a continuous network among M actors. The memory organization has a large internal structure, including four regions of stories, concepts, schemas, and sensory motor patterns. All of them are subclass of M actor, and all M actors are organized as one network. Uh, the generative space involves dynamic generative process of stories at the subconscious level. Activated stories in the memory organization are incorporated into this space and higher connection and branding networks are constructed here. Um, in the discourse is a conscious level temporary representation this structure is dynamically generated around the attention target in the story. The in the narrating module derives a conscious level generative process from outside the memory system. It triggers the in the discourse generation by providing an um, attention signal to an um, object or emotion in the story. Uh, the role of APR is to mediate between the memory system and the external environment. Conceptually, these are coupled in the form of bidirectional process between action, expression, and perception comprehension. Uh, however, this part is still conceptual because it is mostly unimplemented yet. Uh, I present several process scenarios uh, based on the current implementation. Commons emphasize the internal movement and the process scenario captures capture it from a mesoscopic perspective. Uh, Commons is based on a parallel distributed architecture with no central control. Its operations can be conceptualized from a Three level perspective. A microscop microscopic perspective focuses on the internal automatic process of each distributed element, but operations at this level are semantically abstract. And a macroscopic perspective focuses on semi autonomous integrated operations of an entire system or agent. I think this level must emerge from global operations. Uh, mesoscopic perspective focus on compound operations among lower distributed operations and or other compound operations. This level can be associated with relatively general cognitive terms, which potentially include association, remembering, generalization, analogy branding, and so on. The first scenario focuses on the coupled process of forming a temporary experience and continuous memory organization. Uh, this scenario consists of two phases. Uh, the first phase is in a discourse generation, when the in a narrating module gives an attentional signal to a motion or object in a story, a temporary network around the attention target is generated. The second phase is memory network formation. 
the relational structure of the inner discourse is inscribed on or generalized into the memory organization. Uh, accumulation of these process with many stories that makes a large and complicated network in the memory organizations. Excuse me, Taisuke, you have uh, five minutes left. Ah, okay. I will a few slides. Uh, and this mechanism involves various sub processes, and I cannot explain their details. Please see the paper for more details. The second scenario focuses on the internal movement of the generative space, including story association, connection formation, and branding. The first phase is story association. When a story's element gets an, an attentional signal, spreading activation occurs and activation, activated story lies into the generative space. Next, the similarity connection from the attention center to the part of another activated story is generated. A systematic connection may also be generated here optionally. Last connected story parts are branded here to input space and mapping are provided by a similarity or systematic connection. These input spaces are branded to create a new story or to update the original story. And this is a simplified example of branding. This diagram shows that two simple events are branded and a new event is generated. An important thing is that branding potentially involves multiple, multiple meanings. For example, producing a rich meaning, imagining an event or situation, and complementing the original story by incorporating information like an analogical reasoning. Uh, finally, I give some concluding remarks. Uh, this talk presented the commerce architecture with an emphasis on the holistic and theoretical aspects. There is an unclearness of the achievement because commerce emphasized the internal movement and is not yet associated with concrete or external behaviors. However, I believe that it is important to construct a holistic theory in an abstractive fashion to produce engineering knowledge for comprehensive AI. Although the present commerce is mostly and uh, sophisticated at the element level, essential issues also remain at the system level. For example, uh, qualitative difference among different types of experience is not considered in the memory network formation. Another issue is the orientation and constraints of the generated movement of stories. Uh, uh, thank you for listening. Thank you. We probably have time for one question. Okay. No questions? Okay, then uh, I guess, thank you. And we shall oh, go with you. the next speaker.